Welcome back Morales to a new video in which I'm going to share the blockchain developer roadmap for 2023. But first I want to congratulate you. That's right. I want to congratulate you because you are right here right now watching this video. But more importantly, because you are within the Web3 space, the blockchain industry is by far the best industry to be at and to specialize in as a developer in 2023. That's because of the huge potential in creating something that doesn't exist in this industry because you have the potential to uh, form this industry and to put your footprint on it but also in terms of salary of course and compensations so huge huge congrats but uh, where do we take it from here because in order for us to make something out of this we need to understand the tools uh, the tech stack that we use within the web3 and blockchain industry hopefully you can take everything i'm gonna show you right here and build the next decentralized application whether it's a dex a DAO or maybe an NFT project, we at Morales, we got you covered. So stay right here and let's get started. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. Welcome back guys. We're gonna try to divide this into different parts, okay? I'm gonna cover some of the tools you can use, but it's important to understand that blockchains differ from each other. From Bitcoin to Ethereum, where you, for example, write smart contracts in Solidity, to Aptos, where you're using Move, uh, to Solana, which heavily relies on Rust, and so on and so on. Even EVM chains differ from each other. Because of that, our main goal here at Morales is to give you the tools, the knowledge and the inspiration to build dApps, decentralized apps, no matter the EVM chain. We can make it easy for you. And you have our YouTube channel to get so much free content from us. But if you really want to get into Web3 during this year, 2023, if you really are serious about learning how to build a DEX, a DAO, learning Ethereum smart contract security, what re-entrancy hacks are, uh, want to get started with Rust for example and so on and so on, make sure you join the Morales Academy guys. Our courses, they will blow your mind. So go to morales.io, come to resources and Morales Academy. From here you can join all the courses, okay? You, you can see that we have crypto for beginners, uh, Ethereum fundamentals, build a wallet on Ethereum, build a DEX, a decentralized exchange using JavaScript. You can learn React, web development, Ethereum smart contract programming 201, uh, Ethereum smart contract security, even C++ programming for blockchain developers. You have Rust, you have Solana and so much more. Our community, guys, our community is so dedicated and we're learning together. So if you're taking this seriously and you really want to learn Web3 development in 2023 and you want to learn with us, with the community, make sure you join the Morales Academy. But as we said, there are different kinds of blockchain developers. You can be a blockchain developer and write the programs and the scripts that run on chain, or you can be like a front-end developer creating apps that rely on already existing blockchain scripts. But let's go through them one by one. So the first part is writing those scripts, the so-called smart contracts. This is code that runs on the blockchain and that can do things. It can accept money, uh, it can borrow money to someone else, it can handle transactions. For example, let's say you purchase an NFT, okay? There's a smart contract that handles this transaction. It can take the money from you and send it to the seller and it takes the NFT from the seller and it sends it to you. The most popular smart contract language is Solidity and it is a programming language on the Ethereum blockchain. And as you can see right here, Solidity is a statically typed curly braces programming language designed for developing smart contracts that run on Ethereum. Now, if you've done some JavaScript or Python before, you should get going pretty fast with Solidity. And you can use Solidity to write smart contracts on, for example, Visual Studio Code, or you can use a very popular IDE called Remix. Remix is a good tool for getting started quickly and testing your smart contracts before you deploy them. Let me show you. So this is Remix and you can write your smart contracts right here. And you can also compile them right here straight in your browser. You can deploy them here and you can choose fake environment 
out of these ones and you also have fake accounts that hold 100 ether each and once you've deployed it you can interact with it down here in your browser to make sure that everything works if everything works well you can also deploy it using metamask to a testnet or even to the ethereum main network let's say you write smart contracts locally on your computer then you can use a framework or a development environment tool called hardhat where you can have a local dev chain for testing you can write your tests with javascript and it is very very handy so Hardhead is a blockchain tool that lets you compile your smart contracts and let you run and test your Solidity code locally. Then we have Open Zeppelin. This is the standard for secure blockchain applications. Open Zeppelin specializes in audits and smart contract security, but they have free smart contracts standards for creating tokens or NFTs that you can use and it can help you launch in under an hour. These contract standards that they have are the most popular ones and they are widely used across the Ethereum blockchain. Then you need a front end, a UI. The frontend client is the one that interacts with the smart contract. And if you know JavaScript from before, then you have probably used React or Next.js, which is the most common in Web3 dApps. And with Next.js, for example, you can build beautiful and responsive applications that fetch data from the blockchain. Let's say uh, a user connects their wallet and you want to display their NFTs or their tokens. You don't need to write a smart contract for that. You can do that with Next.js. And here's where Morales comes handy because we have all the APIs you need. You want the user to connect their wallet and display their NFTs? We have the NFT API right here. You want to display their token APIs? Boom, we have the token API right here. And we can go on, we have the balance API, the transaction API, the events, the block API, and this is for EVM. So then we have APIs for Solana, we have APIs for Aptos. So you can, you can create really beautiful dApps in a very quick way using the Morales API. Now you will need to have your API key. So make sure you sign up to morales.io. And if you want to take your dApps to the next level, make sure you go for the pro account. Then we also have this GitHub repo, the Web3 UI kit, and this includes beautiful and lightweight UI components for Web3 developers. And you can create all this by simply using these uh, components that we provide. And this is just to cut down your development time by a lot because creating the front end, that's where you spend most of your time. Creating the smart contracts in, let's say, Solidity, that's maybe 10 to 15% of your development time for an application because those programs are usually small and you, you, you build them pretty fast. But then you need to have a beautiful front-end side uh, that's attracting to users. It has to be mobile responsive. So that's where you put most of your time. So make sure you use this GitHub repo right here to build your front-ends and cut down your development time by a lot. Then we have popular packages such as Ethers and Wagme. Wagme, for example, it lets you interact with the Ethereum blockchain by connecting your wallet, uh, you can display ENS and balance information, sign messages, for example. And this is a collection of React hooks. Then you have Ethers, JS, which also lets you communicate with the blockchain using JavaScript, which comes very handy when we are using the JavaScript tech stack to build our dApps. And finally, let's finish off with Etherscan, which is a blockchain explorer. Uh, you can search for things on the blockchain and sort transactions trace where money goes or what account interacts with which contracts. And uh, for example, we can paste this wallet address in here and we can see the different transactions it has done when, and uh, this is for example, the Vitalik's uh, wallet address and we can see everything about these transactions. Now this is good for the UI users, but if you want to build something similar to this, then Morales is what you need to make that happen. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope this gives you some clarity on how to become a blockchain developer in 2023. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you post them in the comment section below. And I hope you have a wonderful day.